Here we go. Cool. Hi, this is Old Blood Noise Endeavors. I'm Brady, and this is Dan. And today, Dan explains it all about the flat light textural flange shifter from Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Let's hit it. Go ahead. So, flat light. This is a pedal built around flanging, but it isn't really a flanger. I mean, it is, but if you don't like flanger, this is for you. So, it's got three modes. Each of them adds an extra touch of something interesting, like pitch shifting or echo to the foundation of flanging. And pretty simple controls. You've got a mix control that goes from all the way dry to 100% wet. You've got a rate control that controls the rate of the flanging. And a depth control controls the depth of the flanger. Then this shift knob is where things get fun. So in each mode, the shift controls an extra little parameter dependent on what's been added in for that mode. And in addition, there's a tilt foot switch, which can maximize the control just while it's pressed down and then bring it back to normal. And uh, it's got our expression control, expression input, uh, which can control either the rate or the shift knob uh, via an internal switch. And uh, standard nine volt power, um, it was like 50 milliamps, something like that. Uh, nine volt power. And uh, relay bypass switching, so nice soft touch foot switch. And a good clean signal when it's off. Flanger when it's on. So let's check out some of the modes. We'll start in the top mode, which is detune. So in this one, you have your dry signal. That's always there via the mix knob and a pitch shifted signal that is flanging. So when shift is set to the middle, it just sounds like a nice familiar flanger. When you bring it up, you start to shift that, that extra pitch until eventually you've got an octave up and an extra perfect fifth on top of that. And if you bring it all the way down, you go down to an octave down. And then, there's just a bunch of weird space in the, in, the uh, in between. So you can get kind of lightly detuned. Quick warbles. Or slower, more swooshy flanges. That's pretty much it for detune mode. Anything else? You guys want to add for that? Good, cool. Awesome, let's check out resonate mode. Start with everything at noon. So the fun part of this pedal is it's really accessible initially in every mode. So if you set all your knobs at noon and switch through, you're gonna get a, a familiar, nice, warm flanger sound. Um, where most of the fun is gonna come in is at your extremes. So in resonate mode, it's all about the resonant uh, feedback that you get in flangers. Because uh, flanger is a, a time-based effect. It's basically just a short delay line that creates a filter, and you move that delay line slightly to shift where that filter, uh, what frequencies it's hitting. So in resonate mode, you've got a bunch of stacked flanging lines, and essentially the shift knob is a, like a feedback knob for your delay. So it just keeps adding more back in at the start until it gets super resonant and oscillates on its own. And it plays well with the depth knob. The depth is going to control the different pitches it's hitting, and the rate knob gets wild in this one. You can also scale back that shift and just get deep, long, resonant flanger sounds. Bring your depth down and your rate high for a nice little warble. Bring the resonate up and you can play and try to play in key with it. If your rate knob is high, it'll kind of hover around the same pitch.
might want the mix knob low for yeah, that's, super that's resonant C. ones. Yeah. C and G. Yeah, you can really find like I found C, G, D. They hear that. There's mm. notes in there. That's resonate mode. Ooh. Let's go back to noon. Let's check out echo mode. So in echo mode, uh, you add a delay, and it's, uh, it's like a like a five tap delay. Uh, it's kind of kind of voiced to be a multi delay that sounds a little reverby. And the shift knob controls the time of it. So if you bring the shift knob all the way down. Totally eliminates the delay. Now you've just got familiar flanging again. Bring it up, you get short time, kind of medium length, all the way up to, I don't know the exact timing, but some longer hits. And in echo mode, you can get a lot of your more familiar, um, if you do like flanger, if you're one of those people that likes the airplane whoosh stuff, bring the shift all the way down and uh, depth control in this actually controls the resonance of the effect and the rate control never zeroes out so you can set your rate all the way down and it'll still move just really slowly bring your depth up really high it'll be extra resonant and you just take forever to take off and land eventually Go back in. Maybe this is a good time to show you the tilt switch. So right now, um, the tilt foot switch controls, or is attached to the rate control. Uh, and you can change that internally. You can set it to either control rate or shift uh, by just taking the back plate off and flipping a switch. And essentially what the tilt control is going to do is max out whatever control it's attached to. So right now our rate is really low, so when I hit tilt it's going to get super fast. Nice warble, and then back off, and we're back to that slow, slow swoosh. So that's how the tilt control works. And that same internal switch that controls what the tilt affects also controls what your expression pedal affects. So let's plug that in and see what happens. So now Brady's got an expression pedal to control his rate. So that was Dan explains it all hmm. about the. <laughs> you not want me to say that? That was a funny noise. Okay, so that was Dan explains it all on the Old Blood Noise Endeavors Flatlight Textural Flange Shifter. Brady, you want to show show us uh, one of your favorite settings? Play around a little bit. Yeah, laser beam setting. Laser beam setting. It's no joke. I love. I like. It sounds it. great. This is a flanger pedal. Can you believe it? I can't. Wish I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Brady likes flanger now. 
I was, flat I was dead. Changed everything. What's your favorite setting? How could I pick a favorite setting? Everything it does is so great. Is that good? Does that feel it's a good advertisement? Do we do it? This would be a fun spot to shoot in at night sometime. <laughs> 